Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here then welcome, my name is Eva, this is Eva the Vegan and I share all things sustainable living. And in today's video I want to share with you the five R's of sustainable living. So the five R's of sustainable living are refuse, reduce, reuse, recycle and rot. And I'm going to share with you how I do all of those things to try and live a more sustainable life. So refusing is saying no to things you don't need. So I refuse to buy my fruits and veggies and a lot of my foods in packaging. I'm lucky enough to have access to loose organic fruits and veggies and also live very close to a local package free shop. It hasn't always been this way. I'm very lucky to live this way. So that enables me to refuse single use um, packaging in that way. I refuse to buy any animal products as a vegan, obviously eat the vegan, um, and I also refuse to buy any fast fashion. This year I'm actually embarking on a no buy fashion year and I have a video all about that. Basically I just try and live as ethically as possible and I also refuse to buy um, the majority of things new, especially things like furniture and just more expensive items. <laughs> The next one is reduce. So there are many, many ways I reduce my waste and you can find tons of videos here on my channel, but just a couple of them using reusable wee wee wipes for number ones and using hankies instead of tissues, using tea towels and secondhand face cloths for washing up and wiping down surfaces instead of kitchen roll. Just switching out single use items for a reusable alternative is a great way to reduce your overall waste. This is one of my favorite ones because I love reusing things. There are so many things in my home that are reused from furniture to my plant stands. I love reusing things. I reuse old cotton bedding to make my own clothes. And there is a whole nother video on this channel all about my me made wardrobe clothes that I've made myself. I also use old tights to cut up and make them into hair bands. I also like reusing um, random things for storage as well, especially baking trays, things I'm not using at the moment or don't use that often, instead of getting rid of them, I reuse them or upcycle them. So for example, in my kitchen, I have one of my tea strainers and an old baking uh, dish thing that was so scratched that it's probably not probably safe to use. I also use another baking dish that we don't use very often um, just to keep all of our extra toiletries in, in the bathroom and stuff like that. Just uh, reusing things that you no longer need for an alternative purpose in order to reduce the amount that you are wasting and therefore reduce your impact on the environment. So whilst recycling is very important, I would really like to emphasize the first three, try and reuse things as much as possible, reduce your waste as much as possible and refuse things as much as possible before then recycling. For me in particular where I live, my local council um, has really good recycling facilities and I have really good access to recycling facilities. So I have many bins in my kitchen. <laughs> um, the normal recycling which is where I've listed everything on a piece of paper that is on the cupboard wall that can be recycled. Everything also has to be washed before it's recycling. Please don't wish recycle, don't put things in the recycling bin that you hope will be recycled because it contaminates the rest of the recycling. So it's really important that you don't wish cycle and only put things in your recycling bin that can actually be recycled by your local council, which you can find out about on their local council website, all about household recycling. So I then have two other recycling bins, one for soft plastics, which can be taken back to supermarket. Another box I have is for our local package free shop because they have a, I think it's, it's a Tetra TerraCycle um, collection. Our local council does recycle the cartons that you get plant milk in and stuff like that. Um, but they don't recycle things like crisp packets and chocolate bar wrappers and kind of confectionery, um, thin plastic colored, um, mixed recycling. So I collect that and I take it to my local package free shop when I go and fill up some of my containers and that works really well for us. 
Rot is rotting things, I guess. It's just basically composting. But composting can be done in many ways. You can have a home compost where you compost in your garden or on your balcony or have a worm compost within your home if you don't have an outdoor space. Um, I'm not really a believer in countertop composts, so um, we won't discuss those. <laughs> or you can have curbside composting, which is what I have, where your council collects your food waste, and I'm very lucky to have that. The composting I have access to through my local council is industrial composting, so we can put cooked and uncooked foods in there, and if you're not vegan, you can put animal products in there as well, whereas if you were composting in your garden, you shouldn't put cooked foods, lemon peels, animal products in there. Another great way to compost if you don't have access to curbside composting or waste facilities or don't have a garden or just don't want to compost yourself at home is you can take it to a community garden. Uh, contact your local community garden, ask if, or your local allotments, ask if anyone's collecting compost. They might again be a bit fussy with what you bring with no cooked food etc you can also have a look to see if any farmers around your area or landowners have a digester because that is often what a lot of people use on their land when they're getting rid of waste from agriculture organic waste just look around your community try and see if anyone is looking to start a community compost if not you could start your own and you could start with a couple of people and just learn and yeah so I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Comment down below any other videos you want to see from me. Please subscribe if you haven't already. It would really mean a lot to me. Have a beautiful day. Stay kind. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.